What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dabmaster D40. So yes, this is called the Dabmaster. So this is another one from our friends over at Zealot Vape. Big shout out and thanks goes to them because they're the ones that sent this thing to me for the purpose of making this video. So just wanted to show them some love. But yeah, this is a nice little basic, easy to use starter kit. Little tiny thing like this, but you do get quite a good vape off of it. So with that, taking a look online, this thing is available in two different colors. You have the red version like I have here and a black version as well. It's only $29.99. So it's a hell of a deal if you ask me. I think this is good for for the beginner vapor, someone that's looking to get into vaping, or if you wanna you know, get your friends into it, then you could probably gift them one of these things and it's not gonna set you back too much. So with that, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, as you can see, we've got our D40 kit in its original box. So let's quickly take a look around the packaging and then talk about what's inside. So yeah, as you can see, very minimalist, very basic, very simple packaging, just kind of navy blue with some circles on the front. Uh, on the sides, all you have is logos, 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 of course. And on the back, we have some basic information. One thing that I found interesting, uh, right here, it says, please read. Keep this product out of sight and reach of children. Not just reach, sight as well. Don't look at it, kids. Seriously, don't look. <laughs> but I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, the other thing is right there. Uh, it says it's powered by the COCC coil. Yes, that's right. It's powered by cock, everyone. And then there's the color indication and a QR code. So let's just go ahead and take this thing out of the box. And we'll check out what we get inside. So, well, there's the D40 and the tank. You have two coils there. A USB cable, of course, as always. A USB cable, gotta love them. And then the world's smallest user manual. And um, yeah, it's really simple because it's only a little kind of fold out there. So I'm not sure if this is, would qualify as a booklet style or a fold out style. I don't know. So plus 10 points and minus 10 points at the same time. But um, it does have some graphics in there, which I like, but the printing is so tiny. I don't think a gnat could read this. So uh, minus five points overall, we'll say. So as far as specs are concerned, it's pretty difficult to find some solid information about this device. I'm on their website right now and it's still not giving me much, but from what I see here, uh, the tank is two mil capacity, uh, 16 millimeters in diameter, made of stainless steel, and it has a 510 connection. So as far as the device is concerned, it goes from 3.4 volts to 5.1 volts in six different increments. It has a USB charging function with circuit protection, and it's meant to be charged at five volts at one amp. So let's go ahead and show you all the different parts and pieces, starting with this drip tip up top here. It's a nice big chunk of Delrin, has two little red O-rings on the bottom, which eh, don't quite do their job as good as they could. However, I haven't really experienced too much of an issue with it. But with that, um, yeah, it is a little bit loose in this top cap section here. It also has this uh, sort of pattern. I don't even know what that it, you would even call that, but uh, it's meant to stop spit back, which is kind of a neat thing. Um, it kind of works, I guess, but you know, just like all those anti spit back kind of mechanisms, it's okay at best. So just unscrewing the tank section here, you fill it by flipping the tank upside down and just dripping your juice into this section there. And here you have your coil head. Now, this one looks kind of familiar. I'm not sure where I've seen it, but um, it looks kind of familiar. If you guys know which one this is, it kind of reminds me of uh, maybe a Joytech uh, from back in the day or something like that. But if you guys recognize which coil head this is, and if you know what I'm talking about, then just drop a comment in the box below because I'm kind of curious. But it, uh, I really feel like it looks familiar to me. But anyways, the coil's uh, 1.4 ohms. Uh, 3.4 to 4.4 volts and you can see the little tiny airflow adjustment at the bottom there and it does have a big chunky stopper so there it can stop it one way and the other fully open fully closed um, and the 510 connection on the bottom as well. 
So taking a look at the device itself, the first thing I'll show you guys is the 510 connection up top here. It is a static connection, not spring loaded, so don't think you're just gonna go ahead and slap whatever tank you want on top of there. Not that you could anyways because of this lump of plastic right there, which kind of blocks you from putting just any old tank on top. And um, you know, not that you would anyways because it does come with the one that's appropriate for this thing. But anyways, it's got the fire button right there. And then you have your power level up and down right there. And these little little indicators here are your lights. So when you turn the device on with five clicks, those are going to show your battery life and your power level. So as you can see here, I'm on the lowest power level and I can in increase that just like that and then go back down. So very, very simplistic, not too much, you know, thought goes into that whatsoever, but uh, that's the way, you know, newbies like it. Uh, you can see the Dab Master insignia on the side and the uh, top and bottom plasticky pieces there. I'm pretty sure this middle piece is metal, feels kind of like uh, an anodized aluminum sort of thing, but the top and bottom are very, very cheap feeling. And on the bottom here, we have our charger. Five volts at one amp is what you want to charge this thing at. And that's pretty much all there is to show you. All right, guys, that about does it for the close-ups. Let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off today with the pros, and my first pro is that it's super duper light. This thing is lighter than air. It's really just that, you know, nice little feather light sort of mod that you can carry around in your pocket all day long. Personally, I like having a device of some sort in my pocket at all times, whether it be a jewel, a fix, a soaring air, or something like this, this little dab master here. So for me, this this would be a great device for my all day, every day carry to go around on errands with and just kind of, you know, throw back in your pocket whenever you're done with it and you don't have to carry around a big bulky mod all day. My second pro today is the price. You really can't go wrong for 30 bucks for a little kit like this just because if it's lost or stolen or broken or confiscated or something, then you're really not going to be all that upset about it. So if you're the adventurous type and you tend to lose, drop, break things, then maybe this thing is for you. My third pro today is how ridiculously easy this thing is to use. Now, from my experience working at a vape shop, I can tell you firsthand that smokers want something really, really easy to use when they first get started because they don't want to bug me with a million dumb questions and, you know, call me on the phone every time they have a minor issue or something. And this is the exact kind of kit that I would usually recommend to someone that's looking to transition off of cigarettes and try vaping for the first time. And my fourth and final pro is the battery life. Now, I was actually kind of surprised by how good the battery life is on this little guy here. However, the tank capacity is a little bit lackluster, so you you will have to refill it a few times if you're planning a long trip or something like that. So keep that in mind. But with that, uh, yeah, it's a lower power consuming sort of device, but the battery itself lasts about four to five tank fills, which isn't too bad. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons, my first con is that it kind of takes an oddball coil. Now, personally, I wouldn't expect to find the coils for this thing at any given vape shop, and I really feel like that's a big downfall for this device because, honestly, you're going to want something that takes a pretty standardized coil, something that you're going to be able to find pretty much anywhere you go across the country or all over the world, for that matter. And with this one here, I really feel like you're going to have to buy these coils online, and that's going to be the major, major drawback for this one. My second con today is that it feels really, really cheap. Now, it has these plastic pieces on the upper and lower part of the device and those are the worst of the worst when it comes to the you know feeling of this device it feels really cheaply made and cheaply put together you can really feel that kind of ridge there it catches your thumbnail and all that stuff so as far as that's concerned it kind of feels like a cheap plastic toy to me like it was thrown together without much thought of the design or aesthetic and for my third con today the airflow is very difficult to adjust while the tank is sitting on the device if it's not on the device it's it's no problem at all. You can adjust it all you want, throw it back on, easy peasy. But when it's sitting on here, it is very difficult. If you want to go from a mouth to lung inhale to a direct to lung inhale or something like that, then it's almost like a torture test because you gotta grip it on both sides. And sometimes if there's even the slightest amount of juice on the outside of the tank, your fingers will slip off and then it just becomes really, really difficult. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a big con for me. And for my fourth and final con, the charging port is on the bottom. Now, that's a big issue for me personally because I like to have my devices standing up while they charge. Now, I've run into this problem time and time again with several different devices, and I tend to complain about them. Some of you guys out there might not really care all that much, but for me personally, it's just something I don't like.
So at the end of the day, is this thing worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one for review? And I'm gonna say kinda sorta maybe yes-ish. <laughs> I know that's really confusing. It's really hard to put this into a specific category. It doesn't really have a genre. It's an adjustable tiny little system that's just slightly better than a pod system, but not nearly as good as something like an all-in-one stick battery sort of thing. So as far as that goes, it kind of ranks just above a pod system in my my book. And the other side of the coin is, would I recommend this to a smoker or would I buy this for a current smoker trying to quit? Now, I'm going to say yes, but only if I could buy about five to ten packs of coils for this thing because I feel like that's probably the lifespan of it. It feels kind of that cheapness that, you know, after a while it's just going to give up and break on you. So I would suggest maybe, you know, buying enough coils for the lifespan of this thing, probably about, you know, six months to a year top. So there you go. There's my recommendation. If you guys want to pick one of these up for yourself then check out the links right down there in the description below but that about does it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this don't forget to click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever i upload videos also leave me some comments in the box below i'd love to hear your thoughts all about the dab master or anything else you guys want to discuss down there also check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the description below thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always vape on